hello everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about the topic that is flaccidity it is a condition of the hypotonicity okay in previous video we discussed about the difference between the high uh, spasticity and rigidity and and they both condition of the hypertonicity but today topic is is hypotonia that is flaccidity so what is flaccidity so these term are used to define abnormally low tone or absent muscle tone generally which is seen in element type of lesion so resistance to passive movement which is diminished in hypotonicity hyper extensibility of the joint is common element syndrome results from that of an anterior horn of the spinal cord and peripheral nerves example in cord equina lesions in peripheral neuropathy so hypotonia which is present it produces symptoms of decreased muscle tone or absence of the muscle tone decrease or absence of reflexes paresis type of picture in patient and neurogenic atrophy which is present in cerebellar lesions mild tone decrease along with asthenia asthenia that means generalized body weakness so it is a signs of cerebellar lesions so in that also the tone which is decrease mildly some people with hypotonia have difficulty in bowel functions such example that is constipation decrease muscle strength so decrease activity tolerance and patient shoulder which is rounded hypermobile and hyperflexible joints seen due to uh, low tone of the muscle motor skills delay in children floppy baby syndrome is present in children that means it is unable to maintain flexion of ligament and poor head control so this syndrome known as a floppy baby syndrome duration of cns depression and hypotonia that occurs with shock is highly variable lasting up to days or weeks so it is typically followed by the development of spasticity and human signs so flaccidity kitla time rese it depend on the how, how much the development of spasticity can occur and depends on other human signs also so this all are about the flaccidity thank you